hello guys and welcome in this tutorial video i want to demonstrate to you on how to record or process a depreciation expense in an income statement for the current financial year on sage pastel accounting so you'll remember that a depreciation expense is made up of different depreciations from different classes of assets that the company owns so for this video i'm going to assume that this company has two classes of assets where we're going to determine our depreciation from so i'll just assume that the entity has motor vehicles in use and also has um furniture and fittings so let's go ahead and process that depreciation so I'll click on the uh, process. When I go to process tab, I'm going to click on journals. <coughs> and the reason that I click on journals is that we all know that a depreciation is a non-cash item. So you can't go to cash book. You only go to cash book if that particular thing or transaction is of uh, cash. Now, when I get to <coughs> journals, I'm going to go to the general journal. I know some of you may argue that we need to go to the depreci depreciation journal. You go to depreciation journal only if you are taking on accumulated depreciation balance. But if you are recording a depreciation for the current year, uh, you need to go to general journal. So there it is, general journal. And then the period, you'll see that this entity has a uh, 13 period financial year. So you need to pay careful attention to this. On the account, you need to select um, whether depreciation expense or you need to select accumulated depreciation leg. So if you select an accumulated depreciation leg on account, it means on the contra account on far right, you need to select the contra for that particular accumulated depreciation being depreciation expense. So you need to be careful when it comes to this part. So I will select depreciation for account then we know that the depreciation is a it's an expense and it has a debit leg so i'm going to assume that our depreciation for motor vehicles were 700 for the current financial year then on contra account i'm going to select the credit leg of this particular journal entry being motor vehicles accumulated depreciation then i'll move to the second line <coughs> and i'll take on depreciation for furniture and fittings remember on account i take depreciation so the balance i'll just assume that it was 500 for furniture and fittings then when i get to the contra account i need to select furniture and fittings accumulated depreciation then i move to the last line and update <coughs> so i'm going to update this general batch Then now there we have recorded our depreciation expense for the current year. So what I'm going to do, I will go to the general ledger. You can see that on general ledger, when I go to depreciation, it now reflects 1,200 trends. 
meaning that we have recorded the depreciation expense now i'll go to our income statement and see if that depreciation went to our income statement i'll click on view tab go to general ledger financial reports view the income statement then now you can see that i'll just click on rerun so you can see that it didn't show that expense because the period end is on period 12 and we have recorded that on the 13th period so you need to select the 13th period and click on ok so now when you click on that you can see now that we have depreciation for 1200 trends so that is how you record this year's transactions um, depreciation expense journal that will subsequently hit the income statement so this marks the end of the tutorial video